Peace is inevitable. Peace is going to unfold, but it's going to happen not through a political process, but from a human process. Yuda! How are you? Good, good. Yeah. Long time no see. No, how was the holiday? It's going good. Yeah? Yeah. You, you oh, have wow. a nice sukkah? The notion of taking different societies, different mentalities and different cultures, and trying to separate them with a document that's been engineered in an air-conditioned conference room somewhere else on planet Earth is not going to work here. What's going to work here is from the ground up. Anything new going on here? Yeah, yeah everything is uh, doing well. We have a lot of work. The term settlement is often used as a derogatory term to describe the Israeli communities east of the Green Line in what the Israeli communities refer to themselves as Judea Samaria, the heritage names of this region. Much of the world calls it the West Bank. When looking at this region from the outside in, people tend to see things through a conflict lens. They're looking at things, they're seeing conflict, they're looking for conflict, they're even feeding the fire. We go about our daily lives, living normally, kids go to school, adults go to work. That's true both for Israelis and for Palestinians. So for us, it's not a conflict paradigm, it's a neighbor paradigm. 85% local market and around 50 to 20% export. Like this. But the Palestinian Authority tried to forbid Palestinians from working in any of the industrial parks here. We have uh, around 100 employees, 40 of them Israeli, 60 of them Palestinian. We can find uh, Israel and Palestinian in a management position or a simple worker, all of them. Israel and Palestinian, it depends on the Israeli law. The, all the social condition and salary condition is dependent on the Israeli law. Then it's no different between the people who are working here. So same salary, same day. And we have a wonderful time. And uh, we send the people to, uh, this year to Aqaba for three days, a vacation. The outside observer wants to put up these artificial walls here. They want to separate populations. They want everything to kind of fit into these neat little boxes. And they suggest all kinds of solutions or political solutions to move them in that direction. They're trying to institutionalize the separation. The more that separation has taken hold, the less people have been able to have normal, organic interactions with one another. The spaces, the opportunity for overlap has been more limited. We'd like to see things moving in the other direction. This is Shimon. It's one of the oldest employees that I have in my company. And he worked hand by hand with a Palestinian. And it's great for me, and it's great for them, and it's great for all of us. This guy is from uh, is Palestinian, from Kares. All of us like a big family. And I think you can get this relationship just in the place that we are working together. And our mission is to bring the company for the best result. And this is my target. And all of the workers doing the best to get the best result because they know we have a, a one big plate, all of us eating from this plate, and if we will success, they're getting more, I'm getting more, and all of us living in a wonderful time. I am because of him. All the workers working with me, the company success because of them, not because of me. Shimon is 73 years old, and I give him opportunity to continue working until he will say, Judah, it's enough for me. But I give him a nice car, I respect him a lot, and he's doing a wonderful job for me. What can I say? People with me can work until the day that they say, enough. We're doing well, and I am happy, they are happy, and all of us, this is a hope. Right. This is a hope between Israel and Palestinian. More and more places that they can work together, live together, and know each other, and bring the peace from the bottom. This is what we are doing. We are not politics. We are not speaking. We're just working and doing a good connection between people. This is the hope of the Middle East. Israeli and Palestinian or Arabs and Israeli who found a place to work together, to live together, and to find a way how to live and by peace.
I don't know a single person who doesn't want to live in peace. But I also know too many politicians who use peace as a tagline for all sorts of other things. They're trying to advance a particular agenda. They know their end game, and the process isn't really all that relevant to them. I want to take you to the uh, management room. When you speak about economic mutual interests or mutual investment, you speak about health interests. Everybody needs to be healthy. It doesn't matter about the governments anymore. It doesn't matter about the politicians or would-be solution makers. Um, it matters about the real people on the ground level. We just speak about uh, our life. And this, what you can see here is the days that we know how to take a day off. This is Lipsky. This is Israeli and Palestinian together who know how to enjoy it and to live together. And this is from the, you see, the just two months ago, the, I took them to Aqaba. We're trying to create a situation where at the Ariel Industrial Park, we can have not only Palestinian employees, but also Palestinian factory owners as well. We're trying to create a new entrepreneurship accelerator, which will have joint Israeli and Palestinian teams working, coming up not only with the next business solutions for the future, but the next social action programs for the future as well. Dive there, I swim. As you, you can see me here. Uh, and some of them are dived. And uh, look at us. I think this is, uh, first of all, Aqaba is a beautiful place. And second, the people going because of the company to enjoy with their women and uh, all of us doing the best to live well. And uh, all of that we can get just because we have industrial area of Palestinian or Israeli working together. And we should increase this idea and maybe, as I said, the Peace will come from the people and not from the leaders because the leaders don't want to do peace. I can't tell you what the magic solution is because I don't believe there's a magic solution. I believe that anyone who tells you that they know exactly what needs to be done doesn't know what needs to be done. We just know that it has to happen organically through the real human beings living here. Peace is inevitable. Peace is going to unfold, but it's going to happen not through a political process, but from a human process. Psalm 29:11 says, the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Peace is more than just the external result of unity. Peace, shalom, is the internal strength that continues to carry God's people through seasons of persecution, conflict, and danger freeing the prisoners of fear and breaking the cycle of hate. Thank you for joining us as we provide a spiritual insight of what God is doing in Israel and in the Middle East. If you want to learn more about what God is doing in Israel, make sure to visit us on our webpage and follow us on social media. Shalom and God bless you for Jerusalem.